what this question is about. You have a 90 degree unknown uh, complex and it that forms a 90 degree angle. What it wants you to do is draw the expected CFT. So this is saying if you understood whatever the heck we did to come up with the first four, can you repeat that process to come up with one for this? That's the concept of the hydrogen. So you have this, it's a little different than before, so again you have to know your d orbitals. Uh, so what I want to think is, when I draw my CFT, here's energy. The highest energy ones are the, or the ligands that are directly bumping into those orbitals. So what I want to think is what orbitals have something on the z or x-axis? Well, dz squared has a lobe on the z-axis. <coughs> In addition, dx squared minus y squared. So all the ones with squares in it mean they're on the axis. That's the easy way to remember it. Okay, so I'm going to put those two at the top. They have the most material on the x and z axis. They're actually lying on the axis. Now you think, what's next? Is there anything close to the x and z axis? Well, there's the dxz. It is not on the axis, but it's in between the axes and it's on that plane. So you think first, what's right on? And then next, well, what's maybe in the same plane? And the dxz is definitely in that plane. So it's the next <coughs> one. And I think, okay, is there anything else? What's left over? Well, what's left over is the dxy and the dyz. Both have a component on that plane. xy is the x and the yz is the z. So those would equally be at the lowest end, dxy and the dyz. Is that okay? Yeah. So that's how I draw it. Different than what we've seen before, but following the same principles. Can you just start 